Enchanté. Hello lovelies, I'm Angela and this is Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue, welcome to the channel. A little video for you today because we are in full project modes. If you've been following along on this From Chaos to Cuisine uh, series, you know that we are taking all of the changes that we first made in our house six years ago and just taking them to the next level. The biggest thing happening right now is the tile has arrived and we have started the huge process of taking out the wood floors and putting down this tile. So there was a lot of comments about removing the wood floors. I'm really happy to say that they are coming out splendidly. Uh, it looks like we're going to be able to salvage a ton of this flooring and use it elsewhere in the house, which is a really big deal. I think we should time how long it takes to get these nails out and see if it's a viable way to, if it's a worthwhile way to spend our time. Because as much as I want to save these pieces, like if each piece is five minutes, we can't do that. So I'm going to set a timer and see how long it takes you to do this run. And then, okay. <laughs> nope, I'm not ready. Hang on. Well, okay, hold on. Okay, go, go. That's it? Ah, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> All right, it's about a minute and 35. Well, I don't think that's that bad, because, uh... If you know you got a kid to do this, you couldn't buy these boards for, you know, cheaper than you're paying a kid to take the nails out. You know what I mean? It was only a minute and thirty. Depending on what you want to do, we could either put a lot of this stuff down in the house wherever we don't have flooring, or we can just cut it up and burn it. I was gonna say you could also get a planer, like a small planer. They're not that expensive. And you can run this wood right through it and sand it all down smooth before you put it in, whatever those are called. And uh, it would take all the rough, it would get all this grime off of here, and it would be raw wood. And then you could stain it or do whatever you want to do. And then it would be like new. You could do both sides, no roughness. So. Here we go. and I drove down south to get a load of backer board and I'm sorry to say I didn't film that. She was such a trooper. We brought home uh, about 15 sheets to get started on the boot room. And while Joel is doing all this removal of the wood and the nails and putting down the backer board, I know that my time is coming because I'm the tiler. First things first, I have some decisions to make about how we are going to seal this tile. So I'm doing a ton of research. I'm looking at old school methods of boiled linseed and beeswax, new methods of just going to the store and 
buying a coat to put down. We'll see, lots of decisions to make. I also need to make a decision about how thick my grout line is going to be. So I have a stack of design books that I am referencing and I just keep pouring over these photographs. Probably later on this week, I'm going to be mocking something up. I'm really leaning toward uh, a nice sweet spot in between a quarter of an inch and a half inch. I'm looking at three eighths. We'll see how that feels. I'd like it to feel nice and chunky and substantial, but I also don't want it to feel ridiculous. And as you saw in those books, there's everything from the tiles just being pressed right together to just huge grout lines when you look at photographs of French terracotta in French homes. So as I've been intimating for weeks now, I know there's so much work coming, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. But I have to tell you that wood floor coming out successfully was a whole lot of good news. And so I'm looking for more good news as we decide on our mortar and the spacing and the whole shebang. Joel's going to be moving out of the room and start removing the floor in the kitchen. I'm going to be moving into the boot room and start the tiling process. I'm so excited about that. I need to get these tiles lined up just right so that when we get up against Luga, which is our Lacanche, I want the cut to be perfectly even. So I'd like to have one whole row of full tile there. So while I will start to lay tile at the threshold and move into the boot room in the theory of starting tile in the middle of the room, I am going to be laying out the tile to make sure that when I get up to Luga, I've got that nice row because she is the focal piece of the kitchen, as you know. So I'm so glad you're here for the ride. Be sure to check out today's blog post. Let's see, where is that gonna go? That's gonna go over here, over here. That's gonna go over here. Check out another video. Make sure you subscribe. We'll be back on Friday. See you again very soon. Adios.